All new at 6, cracking down on electric bikes and scooters. Tonight, mayors from seven Pinellas County beach communities are fired up over what they're calling a growing hazard. They tell ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck it's time to pump the brakes before more people get hurt. It's this area of Golf Boulevard that makes Madeira Beach Mayor John Hendricks shudder. Just outside John's Pass, Hendricks nearly hit a young boy on an electric bicycle when he says the boy veered into the street. And I slammed on the brakes and swerved to the inside lane to avoid hitting him. Seven beach mayors are now joining together to call attention to what they say is a dangerous problem. Electric bikes and scooters on major roadways, sidewalks and the beach. It's a safety issue, it's a hazard and it's a problem from St. Pete Beach to Clearwater Beach. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office has received dozens of complaints, yet a change in state law this past July now allows people on electric bikes to ride wherever regular bikes are allowed, paving the way for rental businesses like Tampa Bay e-bikes to thrive. It's a big draw for a lot of our tourists, and a lot of people uh, come to here to experience the electric bikes for the first time. The Pinellas Beach mayors agreed today to work together towards a plan to ban the electric bikes and scooters from the Shoreline and Golf Boulevard. Matthew White wishes local leaders would compromise with rental companies like the one he works for instead of outright banning e-bikes from certain areas. Is there a negotiation where we can find a middle ground to make the bikes maybe a lower speed or that they don't have a throttle function? These discussions even more crucial as 130 million electric bikes are expected to be sold in the U.S. over the next three years. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.